right, security term of the day for today, Diffie-Hellman. So the Diffie-Hellman algorithm was created in 1976 with the release of the Diffie-Hellman paper that was New Directions in Cryptography. With Diffie-Hellman, it was a huge breakthrough in how can we exchange symmetric keys across an insecure network. Saying exchange is a little bit of a misstatement. It is really a negotiation or a barter that actually generates a key. So Alice and Bob, they both go through a very similar process and they generate a number and the number ends up being the key. So Diffie-Hellman, what it does is it allows Alice and Bob across the two sides of the network to exchange numbers and the exchange numbers are then used to perform a calculation on both sides. The calculation effectively is a math proof. So they're checking each other's work or doing a calculation that actually ends up with the same number on both sides. It's kind of like doing a math test. So if the math test you gave me was two plus two, I do my math, I come up with the answer, and I go four. You on the other side could do the same thing, two plus two, a same kind of math, addition again, and then you could prove my work and come up with four at the end. So having the four generated on both sides is going to be the secret number. Anybody listening to the conversation though would not know what's going on, would not understand how to get to that number because you have a secret number that's generated on both sides. With that secret number, then the work is actually the math proof. So it's a little bit difficult an idea, but the basic idea again is how can I exchange or agree on a secret symmetric key for both sides? Alice and Bob both have to have the same key to be able to encrypt and decrypt messages going back and forth to each other. So Diffie-Hellman allows that creation of the key at Alice and Bob without actually exchanging the actual key. So it's allowing the creation of a symmetric key given there's an insecure network in between the two. And we don't want to have to do the old way of things of sending a code book or a messenger sending keys to the other side or something outside of the network. The term we use is out of band when we're talking about symmetric keys and how can I exchange symmetric keys. So Diffie-Hellman's breakthrough allows us to create or invent a key or agree on a key across that insecure network. Hope that helps. See you in the next one.